morning. Good morning, Lord. Uh, Lord, I uh, have a distinct pleasure of welcoming you all this morning. Today, uh, and some of them uh, will also participate uh, virtually. Um, a very warm welcome to all of you. I also recognize the uh, uh, presence of uh, senior government officials and representatives who are uh, with us today uh, from. for uh, specific items such as countries like Vanuatu for us to begin a meeting um, with a word of prayer. I am at the teaching of uh, foreign affairs this morning. Come up and grace us with the opening of our meeting. Thank you, MC. Just um, request everyone to up on standing so that we can just offer a word of prayer. Just pray, Heavenly Father, we thank you once again for this morning. We thank you for the source of life that you have provided to us. We thank you for all the uh, leaders as well as officials coming all the way from the seats, uh, member states to be here this morning. And these uh, three days of discussions, Lord, you will provide them wisdom, understanding, knowledge, courage, and strength, and also a decent mind to discuss issues of importance for this uh, group, Lord. We thank you for blessing each and every one of them, and also the rest of this meeting. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Thank you, DG. Um Now, in front of you, uh, you will find uh, copies of uh, uh, the meeting program. You will also find a notepad and a funny-looking pen. <laughs> <laughs> and for those of you who have traveled, uh, uh, traveled to attend this meeting, you will have in front of you a, a very modest gift from the Vanuatu government, uh, which is a token of our appreciation for traveling to our shores to attend this meeting. The values of this gift are within the threshold allowable, allowable for UN officials. So you can all accept them. And the contents uh, of the gifts, as I said, are very modest, are all Vanuatu made products. None of them are made overseas. All of them 100% made in Vanuatu. 
Now, without further ado, uh, we will now hear the opening address by the Under Secretary General of the High, uh, at the same time, High Representative of the Least Developed Countries, Landlocked Countries, and Small Island Developing States, Her Excellency Ms. Rahab uh, Fatima. Um, please play the video.
international cooperation in external trade, the Honorable Masai Jeremiah Nawalo to deliver his keynote address. Honorable Deputy Prime Minister. Thank you, MC. The Under Secretary General and High Representative of this developed country, local landlord, countries and small island developing states, Her Excellency Ms. Fatima Rabab, the Head of SCAP, Sub Regional Office for the Pacific, Ms. Andy Fong Toy, Excellencies, High Commissioners, Ambassadors, and Embassy staff, Senior UN officials, SEEDs national focal points and government representative, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning and warm greetings to you all of you who are joining us today, both in person and virtually, as we gather for the fifth Small Island Developing States National Focal Points Network meeting. On behalf of the government and the people of the Republic of Vanuatu, I have the distinct pleasure of warmly welcoming you all to our beautiful Pacific nation. At the outset, allow me to thank Madam Under Secretary General Rabab for her opening remarks. I wish also to thank OHRLLS for choosing Vanuatu as host of the first SEEDS National Focal Point Network meeting after the adoption of the Antigua and Barbuda agenda for SEEDS. We realized that the honor of hosting the meeting could have gone to other SEEDS member states. I also wish to thank SEEDS for agreeing to have this meeting hosted in our humble shores. Distinguished participants, your presence here is a continuation from the fourth International Conference of SEEDS held in Antigua and Barbuda in May of 2024, where SEEDS leaders engaged in extensive dis discussions to support SEEDS and address their unique challenges. A key outcome of the conference was the adoption of ABAS. The ABAS is a new 10-year action plan that builds upon the concluded Samoa pathway. It represents a renewed commitment to addressing the unique vulnerabilities of seeds where, while harnessing their potential and sustainable development. Key features of this new agenda include increasing development, finance effectiveness, climate resilience, and sustainable finance the establishment of a SEEDS Global Data Hub, strengthening partnerships between SEEDS and the international communities and developing and monitoring and evaluation framework for ABAS to measure and report on the progress of its implementation. As small island developing states, we are aware of the many challenges we face in pursuing our development aspirations. And yet, despite these challenges, SEEDS have shown remarkable ownership leadership, resilience, and drive in pursuit of our respectable, respective sustainable development objectives. There is also strength in shared knowledge, building meaningful partnerships, and fostering cooperation between our different seeds subregions. For us to meaningfully combat these challenges and ensure that our commitment and goals within the ABAS can be met through actionable responsibilities at the national sub national as well as community and household levels in all our countries, we must recognize the critical role that SEED's national focal points play in these processes. The SEED's national focal points network was created to strengthen coherence and coordination of SEED's related sustainable development issues at national, regional, and global levels. Therefore, this year's fifth gathering of SEED's NFPs with a theme of coherent implementation of the Antigua and Barbuda agenda for small island developing states through strengthening the role of SEED's national focal points is a fitting one. We value the importance of the role that SEED NFPs play for our states and our people. We look forward to supporting you as you build and work through strengthening partnerships, as you share knowledge and best practices through integrated and multi-stakeholders approach. Distinguished participants, in particular the national focal points, over the next two days, I urge you all to make the most of this meeting, learn as much as you can, and return to respective homes, empowered and invigorated. 
you will be unpacking Abbas, including having discussions around Abbas focus areas. You will dictate, you will dedicate a session on how to integrate the Abbas into the national frameworks, highlighting the important role of an m and &E framework to ensure its successful implementation. And last but certainly not least, you will focus your meeting on strength, strengthening NFP partnerships. While engaged in these focused areas, we need to also think about how UN mechanisms and official development assistance can be remodeled to effectively support seeds in the next 10 years. We must also reflect on how we can address the issue of debt distress that most of seeds are facing amidst the, the climate emergency and geopolitical tensions. I would like to wish you all a very productive and successful meeting this week. I understand that on Wednesday, you will have the opportunity to visit the 83 Island Distillery and enjoy, enjoy Athens Blue Lagoon. I hope you can make time to enjoy whatever else Port Vila and Efate has to offer before returning to your respective homes, in particular to try our world famous organic beef and of course our Vanuatu kava. Lastly, please allow me to acknowledge the efforts of the OHR LLS team led by Ms. Tishka Francis and the Vanuatu and the Vanuatu Preparations Committee led by Ms. Juliet Hakwa to arrange this meeting. We appreciate the hard work put into making this meeting possible. I take the opportunity once again to welcome you to Vanuatu and wish you an enjoyable time here with us. I thank you, merci beaucoup, and thank you, Thomas. Okay, thank you, uh, Honorable DPM, for your keynote address. Uh, if you are already, uh, if you're not already energized by the remarks by uh, Her Excellency Ms. Fatima and the Honorable DPM of Vanuatu, either your firewood is wet or you really are jet lagged, uh, or it could be both. Um, I now wish to invite all of us to um, gather outside for a very, very quick sit family photo shoot. And uh, after the photo shoot, please quickly grab something, uh, a bite or a drink, coffee or a tea, and then head back straight into the conference room to start our first session. Um, please slowly, discreetly make your way outside for a quick photo shoot. Thank you. Thank you.